Good morning. Uh, how are you? Good. So, um, how many of you are um, already learned meditation more than one year? Hmm. More than three years? Five? Ten? Hmm. More than ten? Twenty? Uh, Thirty? Hmm, good. A lot of long-term meditators. Anybody new to meditation? Okay, good. Um, so, what should I teach? <clears throat> I have some plan. Now I need to change my plan completely. <laughs> okay, so maybe since a lot of you already learned meditation a long time, so I will teach you how to uh, deconstruct the meditation. <laughs> To let go of meditation. It is really important. So, for <clears throat> our the lineage, our style of meditation, all the meditation has to be with the three, connected with the three qualities. The three quality is first, first, don't meditate what we call non-meditation. Second, don't get lost. Not meditating, but not lost. Quite difficult, right? <laughs> One way is very easy. Problem is too easy. So that's why problem. So third is uncontrived. Uncontrived meaning you don't have to do anything. Just be. In our life, we have a so, lot of habit of doing, right? Doing and achievement and then the strong strategy and then follow up and then deadline and then do I do I doing right or am I doing okay, or how can I tell I'm doing right or wrong, you know. So nowadays, uh, many doctors, you know, telling me that the patients come to see the doctor, and the doctor first say, how, how are you? They say, I don't know, I come here to ask you this question. <laughs> <laughs> how am I? <laughs> so we have a lot of kind of like, worry about we are doing right or wrong. And then, is there any particular measurement that we are doing right or wrong? Or how can I tell I'm doing right or wrong, right? So uncontrived meaning, don't worry about all these things. <laughs> no need. But it doesn't mean you are ignoring them. You know, maybe there's right, maybe there's wrong, but you don't care and you just ignore. It's not like that. The nature of the meditation is very simple, actually, the practice of meditation. Practice. Can you hear me? Back there? Not clear? Uh, like this better? Back there? Okay. So the nature of meditation is actually very simple. And you don't need to worry about those things. Why? I will tell you later. <clears throat> so, number three, uncontrived. Remember? First one, non-meditation. Second, don't get lost. Third, uncontrived. Mm. One more, examination. First, non-meditation. 
Second, don't get lost. Third, mm, very good. Pass. So, so this is the kind of like <clears throat> essential key points of the all the meditation. Some people said, "Oh, don't meditate, don't get lost, and can try." You are teaching the highest, you know, practice of the meditation. This is the heart of the Mahamuda, Mahati, Mahamati Mega. So these are the Mahamuda, Mahati, Mahamati Mega. These are the three main lineage of the meditative tradition in Tibet. You know, so you are teaching heart of that. How come? So this is just. Open teaching for for everybody can join, but you are teaching the really essence of all this. Some people are confused, you know. But actually, all the meditation we need this three quality. Anything, and special at the beginning, right? And not only at the beginning, in the middle. <laughs> not only in the middle, in the end also. I've been meditating more than 30 years. I still have to practice this three. We all need this. So this is from good from A to Z. You say like that, right? A to Z. Ah. A to Z. A to Z. Yeah. A to Z. Good for all. Good for A to Z. Okay. So first. Three, right? First is non-meditation. So don't meditate, <clears throat> meaning we have some kind of uh, expectation about the meditation. Maybe let's let's ex explore the expectation. Um, you know, what is the meditation for you normally? Normally, what you are expecting? Special at the background, background of your mind. You are looking for some kind of flavor, maybe flavor of peace, uh, un uh, non um, non conceptual state, clarity, concentration, or empty mind. Empty brain. Think of oops, sorry, sorry. Think, think, think. Yeah, think of nothing. Right? Everybody has a little bit, little bit different expectation. Or joy. Or blissful. So you have this this expectation. Maybe for you. Meditation is peace, your, your belief. Then every time when you meditate, you match that. Peace, am I peace? Am I not peace? Am I peace? Oh, now I'm meditating. Ooh, la, 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 good. <laughs> How to say it in America? Ooh, la, la. Huh? Ooh, -hoo. What, what, any expression? <coughs> hmm? Uh -huh, aha, or maybe aha, yeah. Aha, mm, peace. Now I'm, I'm sure that I'm in meditation. Mm -hmm. I'm doing right because I have peace. And then, if the peace is okay, if the peace is, you know, become longer and longer, you're more and more happy. And now what happens is the grasping becomes stronger, stronger, stronger. Oh, peace, yes, good. Mm, it will be like this forever from today on. Mm, I have a lot of problems before, but all the problems are gone from today on. Uh, I think I'm getting close to the realization. Mm. So, grasping. So grasping has two things. Permanent, meaning expecting 
peaceful like this forever. Permanent. Or singularity. We think it's number one. The best. I think I'm getting the realization today. This is, this is not the same as the previous experience. Something really, aha, you know. I think, I'm sure, I think this is a realization. I can't wait to share this to my teacher or my colleague meditators. And I may have special recognition from them. <laughs> so, when the grasp becomes stronger, 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 then the peace experience goes stronger for a while. You know, speed, the, the speed is similar as your grasping experience, both go up, 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 up. Then what happened? Experience cannot stay up forever, like stock market, you know. Experience, meditation experience is like stock market. It has to go down. It will go down. You cannot control. So that when the peace is go down, <laughs> now the grass is going up. <laughs> what happened is big disappointment now. Now you feel like you are swimming into the into the swimming pool. Don't know how to swim. You know the water is coming in. <laughs> oh, the peace is gone. What happened? I'm getting worse than before. Please, the peace yesterday was wonderful, I need that experience again. And now you broke your heart, broken heart, you know? So, yeah. Have you ever experienced something like that? <laughs> yes? Yes, raise your hand. Mm, very good. So, <laughs> now the important is we need to learn from this. And essence of meditation is maybe many of you know right what is the essence of meditation awareness yeah essence of meditation is awareness not the peace joy clarity non conceptual strong concentration all these are the experience of meditation not the essence so the essence of meditation is awareness. One on, on more, very important. The essence of meditation, awareness. What is the awareness? Knowing, knowing, right? What we call knowing, what we call clarity, what we call luminosity, cognize. Mm, yeah, kind of like cognition, consciousness, consciousness, or the mind, same thing, mind, awareness. So the knowingness is like lamp, you know, lamp, lamp. <laughs> Have you ever seen lamp? A candle lamp. So, lamp has lamp has two quality. What we call two aspects of clarity. Clarity. The lamp illuminate darkness around the lamp, so light radiate. Right. The lamp has light. At the same time, the lamp illuminates itself. The lamp is the light. So in order to see the lamp, you don't need to use flashlight. Do you? Flashlight, where is the lamp? No need. Because the lamp is the light. So, self-luminosity, self-clarity. So, same as our mind, 
or our awareness, same meaning, mind, awareness, consciousness here, for here, now, same thing. So, awareness knows about something, form, sound, smell, touch, sensation, see all these things around you. At the same time, the mind is luminosity, mind is clarity, mind is knowing. Knowingness, right? Even there's no object. Always, your mind is always clear and knowing. Yeah, agree or no? Yeah? <laughs> so, so, the essence of meditation is the knowing, to connect with that knowingness, to connect with that awareness. That's all. Not the peace, joy, clarity, non-conceptual, blissful, all these are the experience of meditation. They go up and down, just like stock market. Up, down, up, down, up, down, you know. If, especially if you look for peace, the peaceful experience will say, I'm busy. You have to make appointment first. Then I will think about it. No. If you look for peace. Uh, that, that's the our mind does normally. Normally our mind does the opposite, you know. When you look for something, then you you cannot find disappear. You go to exam, you prepare all the answers, study study for many, many months. And when you go to the exam room, most of them are forget, you know. All the answers there. And you're thinking and thinking, your mind becomes blank. Blank. What is the answer? I, I think I know before. What happened? Oh, oh, answer. Please, please. You wait and you wait and you wait and nothing happened. Time's up. You come out. As soon as you come out, oh, I remember the answer. You know. Now too late, right? <laughs> or or what we call pizza meditation. You know pizza meditation? How many of you know pizza meditation? Raise your hand. Pizza meditation. Pizza. Yeah, you know? Yeah, how many of you know the pizza meditation? Raise your hand. The special pizza meditation you have. I, I, I taught that last time, I think. Not here. Last weekend, right? So how many of you remember that pizza meditation? Raise your hand. So should, should we try again? Because many of you not remember. I mean, <laughs> I mean many of you not know about this, so very important. So we're going, the first meditation today is the pizza meditation. <laughs> so pizza meditation. <laughs> So pizza meditation has a one rule, one rule. That for one minute, you are not allowed to think of pizza. For one minute. Cannot think, cannot think pizza. You can think about hamburger, no problem. You can think about the Chinese food, Indian food, Japanese food, Italian, Mexican. What is American food? Hamburger. <laughs> Anything okay? A fresh salad bar? Organic salad bar. <laughs> but not the pizza. For one minute. If you think pizza one second, you will lose this meditation. So for one second, I'm sorry, one minute, no pizza at all. Okay? So first, please keep your spine. <laughs> Loosely straight, mm -hmm. and close your eyes. Relax muscles in your body. Just relax. If you cannot relax, it's also also okay. Allow that you cannot relax. When you allow that you cannot relax, that means you are relaxing. Uh, 
now I will say one, two, three. When you hear three, no pizza. So be ready. One, two, three, no pizza. How was it? Hmm? <laughs> Pizza meditation. Easy or not easy? Not easy? Why? A lot of pizza come? <laughs> yeah, that's normal. So when you say no pizza, then you will have more pizza. Different type of pizza, right? Cheese pizza, uh, uh, veggie pizza, okay, organic, vegan pizza, maybe? You have vegan pizza? Yeah? Or meat pizza, American pizza, Italian pizza. All this pizza jump, you know? If you, if you, I think most of you not really believe this, you know. If you're really serious about this meditation, then you are in big trouble. You will find pizza everywhere. <laughs> so, when we say no, then our mind does the opposite. So, non-meditation meaning you are not particular doing anything. You are not looking for particular non-conceptual mind, clarity mind, one-pointed mind, openness, spacious, blissful, joy, all these things. What you are looking for? Remember? Awareness. Just knowing. So, just connect with that knowing. Is it or not easy? <laughs> Actually, very easy. Why is it very easy? I will tell you later. <laughs> okay, so maybe we will do more um, deeper discussion about this, about the expectation expectation about the meditation, the belief about the meditation, what meditation should be. You know, you have something that in your mind. Maybe we can discuss about that. Yeah? For five minutes, you can discuss with the two people, three people, four people, five people, doesn't matter. Just discuss about what is normally your expectation about the meditation, what you feel or what you believe meditation should be, right? So, uh, now begin, five minutes. And if your friend next to you don't want to discuss, you talk first, you know. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be shy. Okay. So, did you found the, your expectation? <laughs> so, anybody want to share? Whoever want to share, welcome. Raise your hand. 
or whatever your discussion. Yeah. Uh, not question. <laughs> okay, save question first. Uh, we have microphone. Okay. Okay, microphone is coming. One second. Yeah. I thought my voice was so big, I wouldn't need a microphone. <laughs> Maybe but they are doing recording. Oh, I see. Okay. So I've been meditating a long time, and mostly I seem to have gotten a lot of bad habits. Mm -mm. Um, like I heard you saying, Oh, so much peace. Then you get busy. Then you don't want to do it. And that's where I am now. I'm too busy to meditate anymore. Someone else in the group said, well, you find your meditation in your daily activities. And I went, yeah, that's real interesting. But when I sit down on the cushion, boring. Um, now, after 40 years, should this be happening? Is this what I have to look forward to? So my friend said to me, you know, maybe you should try going to hear Minja Rinpoche. Maybe he will teach it to you a different way. Uh, she didn't say this, that even you will get it. But I, I <laughs> so help. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will tell you something and you will change your life, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, that is how to build with a habit. So... Later, I will tell you later. Someone raise your hand. Someone, somebody raise your hand there. Yeah. Are there? Someone there? Yeah. yeah. Um, my my expectation is just uh, to have stability of awareness, and then what, I what have is to the awareness you're you're thinking about normally? What is the awareness? Awareness of mind. Just knowing or uh, like more open beyond more concept? More open, yeah. More openness? Yeah. Spacious? Yes. Clarity? Yes. Non-conceptual? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's the normal. That's my expectation. Right. So uh, awareness not necessary to have openness. Not necessarily feel spacious. Not necessarily feel um, clarity also. Right. It's just yeah. knowing. It's just knowing. Yeah. Natural knowing. Self, self luminosity. Mm -hmm. So we need to tell ourselves again and again. Become more normal, more natural. Deconstruct the meditation. Yeah. Good. Good. Somebody there? Who? who? Yeah. Lady there? First. Thank you. I get lost a lot. Lost so much. <laughs> and I think it's a meditation's a destination. A place to arrive at. Mm-mm. You're already now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Behind. I think um, through my expectation of meditation is through meditation, I would like to um, find awareness. And through meditation, I would like to find my, my mind, the nature of the Buddha nature. And uh, through meditation, I would like to find a moment of contemplation. And mm -hmm. continuously, I would like to have that, continuously extend that contemplation throughout my daily life. And the ultimate goal is through meditation, I would like to find the nature of mind, my mind, mm -hmm. the real mind, the real Buddha nature. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I have a goal. The reason I want to find my nature, my Buddha nature, is that I would like to, just like Buddha, I would be able to self-liberate it, and I would like to be able to, um, um, to also help um, all the sentient beings. Mm -hmm. That's the meditation, the expectation of meditation I want to do. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, we have the objective goals, of course, but the experiential level is very subtle now. So the subtle is uh, my meditation now. I'm, I think I'm doing right. Oh yeah, peaceful now. Now is non conceptual. Now is na natural mind. Now is not natural mind. Now, yes, openness. Now is spacious. Now, still you are looking for experience. So, all these are come okay if those, if the openness, spacious, clarity comes, wonderful. You can appreciate that. Feel happy about your experience. But don't think that. This is the essence of meditation. It's just experience to tell yourself. It's like stock market, go up and down. So will not be forever. So when we believe, or when we're expecting, this has to be forever. So that's the concept, that's the grasping of permanent. And the second thing is, oh, this is the realization, supreme. Singularity, you know, what we call grasping of singularity. But feel happy about your experience, completely okay. Wow, today I have nice meditation experience. Great. I'm so happy. Appreciate. Gratitude. Who knows tomorrow it will go away. So that's the, you, you're accepting as experience and it, expecting that it will change. But the essence is awareness. Awareness no need to have flavor. Not necessary. It's just knowing. It's just consciousness. It's just your own mind. Isn't it? So back to awareness. Back to awareness. If we want to have the goal, goal is to connect with awareness. It doesn't matter about the quality. Doesn't matter about the right and wrong. Right is in the awareness, wrong is in the awareness. Clarity is in the awareness, dull is in the awareness. Peaceful is in the awareness, painful is also in the awareness. Happiness in the, is also in the awareness. Suffering is also in the awareness. Right? So awareness is like sky. And this Peace, not peace, spacious, black and white, um, openness, close, tight, thought, bala bala, yada yada. All these are like cloud, cloud in the sky. So blue sky with the sun shining, great. Dark, polluted, you know. It's a lot of pollution now, right? Pollution, a lot of pollution now. Pollution with the storm. Also okay for the sky. Nature of sky is always free. Free from cloud. Free from pollution. Free from storm, right? Dark and bright. Doesn't matter for the nature of sky. So for the awareness, it doesn't matter. It's always there, always present, always peaceful. But the problem is we are not connected with awareness. We are not recognized awareness. We don't know how to be with awareness. We are looking for special cloud, favored cloud. Beautiful with the rainbow around, you know, with a little bit of <laughs> light inside. In, and then suddenly the beautiful favorite cloud disappear. Then we feel not happy. The storm comes. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Big trouble now. But about the sky, it doesn't matter, right? Sky never say, shoot, my favorite fr cloud is gone, you know. <laughs> now, now I need my favorite cloud come back. 
please. Okay. So, let's try to practice one simple meditation technique. And we will still explore about this, this first non-meditation, okay? Hmm. Ah. Which, which meditation technique? I will uh, teach the, the basic meditation. How about the breath? Breathing meditation? Right? Anybody who ever practiced breathing meditation before? Raise your hand. Everybody. Good. So in this time, forget about the whatever you normally usual breathing meditation, you know. It might have some expectations. <laughs> now, just know your breath. You don't need to look for particular flavor. As long as if you know your breath, your mind calm, okay, not calm, okay. Peace, okay, not peace, okay. Openness, okay, not openness, okay. As long as if you know the breathing, right? If you become unconscious, then you cannot know your breath. So as long as you are not unconscious, you know your breathing, you are fine. Okay, now, how many of you are breathing right now? Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's all you need to know. <laughs> Awareness. So when I ask you, how many of you are breathing right now? You raise your hand. That means you're aware of your breath. That's all. Not necessary to do particular concentration on breath, you know. I'm going to practice this breathing meditation. Hmm. No, peace out. <laughs> Has to be peace and concentrated and relaxed. <laughs> breathing in. Breathing out. <laughs> right? No need. Peace, okay, not peace, okay. Concentrate, okay, not concentrate. As long as if you know your breath, you're fine. Okay, so please keep your spine loosely straight. And close your eyes. First, feel your body. Feel your body. Feel the gravity in the body and relax muscles in your body begin by head head face neck shoulders back chest and stomach arms and legs Now, just to be aware of your breath. Doesn't matter. The sound, phone ring is okay. As long as if you can still remember your breath, whatever sound comes, no problem.
Okay. How was it? More, more freeing. Um, this breathing meditation feels like more free. Raise your hand. Yeah. If you don't feel free, allow also. Allow that you are not free. So when you allow that you are not free, that means you are free. Right? I have to be free. I have to be free. I have to be free. Then again, become more complicated. So you are even open to have not free. That means you are free. You can even open to judgment. That means you have become non-judgmental. If you say don't judge, don't judge, don't judge, you are judging, right? But if you say judge is okay and not judge is okay, you are not judging. So the goal here is hmm? awareness. As long as if you know your breathing, everything's okay. <laughs> you don't need to have strong concentration. If you look for strong concentration, the strong concentration will say, I'm busy. You have to make appointment. You know? Same like peace. If you look for peace, peace, peace mind, and the peace mind say, I'm busy, right? If you look for like exam, you go to <laughs> the exam room and look for answer and your mind become blank. So when you you don't have to look particular anything. You don't need to particular block anything. Don't say no pizza. If pizza comes, why not? Let pizza come. And that, that pizza not become obstacle for your awareness meditation. As long as if you remember your breathing, two pizza, three pizza, ten pizza comes around you. No, no problem. Yeah? So then, if, if you practice like that, then this, what we call craving, grasping, and the aversion, the hatred, automatically dissolves. It is free by itself, liberated by itself. Through the breathing meditation, through knowing, connecting with awareness, so then you can apply this in everyday life. So when you see the life freeing from craving and attra craving and attachment, or fixation mind, you see the reality very clear. Normally we don't see reality very clear because there's a lot of layers of all this uh, concept, aversion, craving, craving, attachment. Aversion, grasping, like this, right? When I was young, I had panic attacks. And the, the biggest problem for the panic attacks is fear of panic. Panic of panic. So that is the, the most problem. So I slowly, slowly learn how to welcome the panic. I asked my father, you know, my father said, don't fight with the panic. Just welcome. So then I tried to say welcome. But why I want to say welcome? Because I want to get rid of my panic. <laughs> so the, still the motivation is the same. But even you don't mean really welcome the panic, you're faking it, you know. Still helps. Like fake welcome, actually. But it helps. It is a big step. So what I'm saying is, hello, Penny, welcome. If I say welcome, then you will not come back again, right? You know? <laughs> but that helps. <laughs> but then in the end, I really accept my panic. I, I make friends with my panic. So then when the panic comes, I don't mind. 
I feel quite excited. Oh, mm -hmm. you know, panic coming. There's the symptoms are still there. The heartbeat, tight neck, disease, you know, sweating, mm -hmm. uncomfortable, pleas unpleasant experience in, from the stomach sometimes, sometimes from the heart. Go to all over the body, like you're in the, in the aeroplane. And if you don't like the aeroplane passing through the turbulence, and you feel terrible, right? Um, so, yeah, so that really helps. But it took me five years to understand that. So you may not get right now. Maybe you get it from the intellectual level, but still experiential level, you will not get it. It's okay. No problem. Even fake it. It's quite good. <laughs> fake it until make it, right? What do you call it? Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Um, okay, so now non-meditation is finished. Understand? Clear? Not clear? You have a question? Uh, microphone. Thank you, Rinpoche. Uh, my question was about one-pointedness, and you kind of addressed that. I, I got answer already, yeah. A, a little bit. So it's, it's much more relaxed state. So then when we're looking, when we're maintaining um, awareness. awareness. Recognition of awareness, yeah. There's a little bit of a one-pointed feel to that, but you're saying it's, it's, Comes it's very easy, very easy. Yeah. So when you not particularly look for one-pointedness, sometimes one-pointedness comes very strong. That's good. Why not? But when you look for one-pointedness, then one-pointedness, say, I'm busy, you know. Uh, you have to make appointment, you know, you have, I have a lot of uh, requirement for you, a lot of, mm, how to say, uh, agreement we have to do. No, not agreement, what do you call it? Huh? Huh? Requirement. Uh, yeah, requirement, right? Yeah. But if you don't care, sometimes very strong concentration comes. It's not like, not allowed the concentration. Even dullness allowed. Why not concentration allowed, right? Even confusion is allowed. Even doubt is allowed, doubt. Even negative emotion is allowed. So, you're allowing. When you're allowed, your mind becomes bigger, bigger. Go beyond craving and aversion. Normally, this too makes our mind very narrow, black and white, sensitive, easy to cry, easy to explore, easy to burn, disappear, very sensitive, right? Now your mind becomes bigger, bigger, more brave, more confident, more contentment. Become like space. Yeah. Okay, now this, what is the second one? Don't get, no, 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 no. Hey, yeah, yeah, don't get lost, yeah. <laughs> I get lost. So second one is don't get lost. So, meaning, we need to connect with awareness. We need to be with awareness. We need to recognize awareness. So that is really important. So, you are not meditating, but you are not get lost. So there's sense of presence. Sense of being, sense of relaxation, right? For example, how many of you, when you read the books, you know books, 
and you're reading and reading, reading. After some time, you read three, four pages, but you don't know what the book is talking about. Anybody who ever experienced like that, raise your hand. <laughs> so that means you're lost. You're lost. You've become like a zombie. You know, you're, you're just reading and you don't know what is, what is there. And the moment of you know, oh, I lost. What do you feel? You feel like wake up. Right? You feel like back to alive again. <laughs> oh, I lost. The sense of, the sense of, that is the sense of being. Sense of presence. Yeah? So you're not lost. When you lost, you'll become like a zombie. Almost like you're unconscious. Whatever in the book, you have no idea. You become like this. So, to connect with the awareness, to connect with the sense of being, how to do that? The first important is we need to recognize awareness. Awareness. What is the awareness? Hmm. So, what is awareness? Knowing. Knowing. Knowingness. Right? And so first, recognize awareness. What, what is awareness? Knowingness. Second, motivation. The motivation of I'm going to meditate or I'm going to be or I'm going to present. So that motivation helps the, the, the recognition of awareness bring the recognition of awareness, what we call view, the view which is recognized awareness, and that motivation helps to connect together with whatever you're doing now, maybe breathing meditation, maybe the sound meditation, maybe the uh, visual object. So whatever meditation, just knowing the breath automatically connect with awareness by recognizing what is awareness. And then now, now you just know the breath, knowing breath. Is awareness. You connect with awareness. So automatically will connect. You don't have to aware of the awareness. Because awareness has self self clarity, self knowing, self luminosity, right? So knowing knowing breath will automatically connect with awareness. Yes? Good? Clear? No? Yes? <laughs> I will do examination. I do this examination a lot. So, examination of awareness. So maybe, uh, there's, there's no failure. No failure of examination. Okay? Because since this is the examination of awareness, so nobody going to fail. So don't worry. So I have only three questions, and you can answer whatever you think. Don't be shy, and you will not lose anyway. How to say? Fail, fail. You will not fail anyway, right? So are you ready for the examination? How many of you are ready? Mm, okay. The, the three questions are, <laughs> first, how many of you recognize awareness? Raise your hand. Okay. Second question. How many of you think mm, still not really recognize yet? Not recognize awareness? Raise your hand. Good. Third question. 
How many of you, maybe yes, maybe no, you know, I don't know what this guy is talking about. <laughs> Raise your hand. Good. Okay. So the now, the, the great, what do you call? What do you call? Result? Great or result? Great is. <coughs> so, all of you are pass. All of you are very smart, you know, smart student. <laughs> so, congratulations. Mm. Okay. So, do you have any idea about how all of you are pass? <laughs> hmm? Awareness of not knowing is awareness. Correct. So you said, I don't know awareness, right? Do you know that you don't know awareness? If you know you don't know awareness, that is awareness. So you pass. Very easy, very simple. It's just right there. And some of you said, maybe not sure, right? Maybe I recognize, maybe not. Do you know you're not sure? So if you know you're not sure, you recognize again. So pass also. And those who said, yes, those of you said, yes, I recognize. Of course you pass. So all of you pass. So for the awareness, <laughs> It doesn't matter you recognize or not recognize or you're confused. Isn't it? It doesn't matter. So this is the proof. <laughs> you all pass. So that's the proof that it doesn't matter for the awareness. Recognize, not recognize, confused. It doesn't matter. Awareness is like sky. Always there. Whatever cloud, all these clouds are happening in the sky. Without sky, there will be no cloud. So whatever yes, no, right, feeling, thought, emotion, you know, blah, 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 yada, yada, all are happening in the awareness, in your mind, in this clarity. Without mind, without clarity, without this consciousness, you cannot have all this thought and emotion and feeling anywhere, right? Very simple. As simple as that. As simple as that. No? How to say? Good? As simple as that. Yeah. As simple as that. But the problem is too simple. Too easy. So that's the problem. Too simple. Um, we cannot, not easy to recognize. Too easy, cannot believe. I think this is not the one. Yeah. This is just, just, just normal mind, normal mind. I had that before I learned meditation. You know? Okay, so you all have this awareness 24 hours, all the time, right? Believe or not? How many of you believe? How many of, of you not believe? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Who's believing is awareness. Who's not believing also awareness. It's just like gravity, you know? Whether you believe or not. <laughs> still there. It still doesn't matter. But, what I, what I say is you all have awareness 24 hours, right? Yes or no? Even, yeah, I will tell this later. What we call even five unconscious moments are the what we call mental event. It's kind of like cloud in the night, in the countryside, completely become 
full of cloud. Sky completely become full of cloud. Cloud. But nature of sky is not become dark, right? So still is free from dark. So, what is the essence of meditation? Awareness. Do you have awareness 24 hours? Yes. Are you meditating 24 hours? <laughs> so now we have big problem. <laughs> right? <laughs> essence of meditation is awareness. And you have awareness 24 hours, but you are not meditating 24 hours. How was that? Hmm? So this is a really important topic. I have to discuss about three minutes. <laughs> you know the discussion topic? How many of you not clear about the discussion topic? Raise your hand. Okay, the discussion topic is, I told you, the essence of meditation is awareness, right? And awareness with you 24 hours. But you are not meditating 24 hours. Not only you are not meditating, you have a lot of bala 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 and yada yada yada, you are not free, awareness is free, you know, awareness is peaceful, but you are not peaceful, a lot of things there. <laughs> awareness is perfect, but we are not perfect. Why is that? So the so the discussion topic is what is the discussion topic? <laughs> hmm? We have awareness twenty four hour, but we are not meditating twenty four hour. Why is that? Okay, now begin the discussion for three minutes. Ah, uh, okay. After the discussion, more clear or more confused? More confused? Raise your hand. More confused is a good sign. More confused is begin to understand. Uh, more clear, also good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any questions about this? Yeah. Question? Raise your hand continuously. Um, you said that uh, dullness and confusion were also okay, um, yeah. but the dullness and confusion is when I lose recognition of awareness and I'm just a zombie. So would you talk about that uh, a little bit more? Okay. Yeah, when you lo lose con concentration, when you feel the zombie, the important thing is feel the zombie. So if you feel the zombie, you're okay. If you don't feel zombie, that's the loss. So, of course we lost. We cannot maintain the recognition very long time. It's short. You come back again, loss again, come back again, loss again. The important thing is, when you're not lost, even you feel dull, it's okay. Even you feel a little bit zombie, it's okay. If you know you are feeling zombie, that means you are not lost. The knowingness, that is the important. Normally what we think, oh, zombie, zombie, no, 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 dull, dull, no, no, dull, no, dull. I need clarity, oh, dull again. So that means you are already connected with awareness, but you don't know. So sometimes what we call using the flashlight under the sun. And in the night, if you use, use flashlight very clear, and you go out, again you use flashlight under the sun, you think, what happened with this flashlight? Last night was so clear. Now, now something wrong, you know. Clear, clear. So the knowingness is the key. Doesn't matter whatever the experience. But of course, you cannot maintain too long. You will lose again, come back again, lose again, come back again, lose. So what we call short time, many times. This is really important also. We, we just need to do short time. Many people ask me, yeah, meditation techniques, very good. 
how can I maintain this long time? There's, there's no particular technique that you cannot maintain long. The only way is to repeat again. So what we call meditation in Tibetan word, gom. Gom meaning get familiar with. So all the meaning of the meditation is getting familiar with awareness. To get more familiar, more familiar, more familiar. So it's short at the beginning. It doesn't, doesn't help. Most of the time there's no flavor. We are expecting flavor of calm, clear, spacious, openness, presence. Even you don't feel present, okay. You know you don't feel present, that means you are in the present. <laughs> so at the beginning, it's like this. Maybe I will give you an example about short time, short time, many time meaning, okay? Like that. Short, no? The sound. And not so nice, no? Oh yeah, this is better. At the beginning like this. Meditation. Loss again. Breath. Loss again. But you come back again, again. Sometimes you feel like you continued aware. But actually you're lost and come back, lost and come back. It's, it's, it's very fast. It's okay. It's still okay. And then slowly become like this. Better, no? Sound, sounds better. And then, hmm, longer. And better, I think. Loss again. Loss again. More clear and longer. Try again. Clear and longer, right? Now you are getting more familiar with the awareness. Good. Mm, very nice, no? Longer and clear and clear meaning you're clear, more clear with awareness, more confident. So don't, don't, don't try to maintain very long at the beginning. Then you feel very tired and bored and then confused. And, and then you feel like, you know, I have better, I'd rather grab my phone. It's better, you know, my smartphone. Look at the things, the message there, you know. Or I put some photo before and how many likes, you know. Only three, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Some people come to me, complain about, you know, not many likes, <laughs> and ask me to pray more likes. You know. <laughs> more likes on the photo. Okay. So you cannot stay long, but if you try to stay long and become like this, you know. Not nice, no? <laughs> Clarity, awareness, one, two, three, openness. In, in the Asia, the more expectation about meditation is the concentration. Concentration. One pointedness. Think of nothing. Breath. I'm meditating. Keep quiet. <laughs> and sometime. And in the West, blazing out. 
looking for peace, joy, spacious, openness, and clarity, you know. Big smile. Relax. One, two, three. Relax. So when you say relax, you're tight already. <laughs> and special people who really want to jump to the heart of the Mahamudra or heart of the Mahati. What they do is non-conceptual. Oh, there's a concept coming. No, 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 no. Not supposed to have, not supposed to have any concept. This is Mahamudra practice. Mahati. The union of samsara and nirvana. <laughs> so, more concept. Right? You are not allowing the concept. That means more concept. You are not allowing the judge. You are judging. But this practice is you are allowed to judge. So then that is the, the biggest step for the non judgmental. You accepting right and wrong and yes and no. That is the biggest step for the non conceptual the real non-conceptual experience. So, remember the essence of meditation? Awareness. So, awareness can be with object, without object. So here, we are being with object. So object is your breath. Yeah. So, if you know your, your breathing, you already not lost. You already connect with awareness. You're not lost. Okay? Why? Because the recognition of the awareness and then the motivation, combination of these two, just knowing the breath become meditation. Okay, so. I haven't given you an answer about the discussion, right? Exactly. <laughs> How many of you want to know the answer? Raise your hand. How many of you don't want to know the answer? <laughs> I can give you an answer the afternoon. So now better or afternoon better? <laughs> okay. The answer is, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> so, I think you might know. The real answer is, there's no issue that we have awareness or not. That's not issue. But the issue is the recognition. We not recognize our own awareness. So the meditation, the, the real purpose about the meditation is to recognize our own awareness and maintain that recognition. So to maintain that recognition with the breath, become breathing meditation. Knowing breath, knowing breath, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Or to maintain that recognition with the sound, with the visual object, with the body, with the sensation, with thought, with emotion. Or without object, just be with itself. Yeah? So what we call open awareness meditation, open present meditation, or shamatha without object. So all these are the how to maintain the recognition of awareness. So once you maintain the recognition of awareness again, 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 then you will have discover the disco discovery, discovery, discover. You will have a lot of discovery. You will discover your fundamental quality of your own mind, which is this boundless awareness. And this awareness is always free, 
free from concept, free from thought and emotion. But at the same time, you can have thought and emotion. Sky is free from cloud, but at the same time, you can have cloud, isn't it? It's very important. Very important point. Meditation is we are not trying to block thought and emotion. We, we are not trying to controlling anything. We are not trying to. This is actually uncontrived subject. You know, I will tell you later. <laughs> so, meditation is just recognize awareness and be with that. So, once you discover your great quality within yourself. That is the beginning of enlightenment. Of course, enlightenment not happening just now like that. You know, there's a lot of steps. You know, step by step, not just one day. Suddenly enlightened. And what should I do now? <laughs> Some people ask me, "Can you tell me I'm already enlightened or not?" You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, if if you ask you are enlightened or not, that means you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Or some people say I'm already enlightened. <laughs> I have this all enlightened qualities. That means also something wrong. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, yeah, normally I give example about the watch. So do you know what is the main quality of the watch? Test time, right? If you have the best watch in the world, maybe diamond with the pure golden Rolex, might be the best, right? Who knows? After you. And you don't know your own watch. You just thought it's just kind of like a dramatic bracelet. Bracelet? You don't know his watch. So can watch tell you time or not? If you don't know your own watch. So if you don't know your own watch, even you have the best watch, the watch cannot tell you time, right? That's not issue whether you have the watch or not. You have watch, but the issue is you are not recognize your own watch. So the quality of watch cannot manifest for you. So awareness is same. Awareness is just like best watch in the world, and the quality of awareness is free, present, pure. Not only that, there's wisdom, love, compassion. All these things are. All these things are there. What we call our Basic nature, basic goodness, our true nature. Our true nature is always perfect, perfect, wonderful. But we need to recognize. The only issue is we have to recognize. So you have awareness 24 hours, but the problem is, you know now, what is the problem? Not recognize. And cannot maintain the recognition. We lost. We don't know how to be with that, right? We lost with the cloud. We don't know how to be with the what? Sky. Yeah, that's the answer. Okay. So now, next is what is the number three? Uncontrived. Uncontrived meaning, I think prob probably you already got it. You already got it. Now the meaning of uncontrived. What is the meaning of uncontrived? Hmm? Okay, we we're going to meditate on the breathing again, and then let's see. After that, I will do the examination. Okay. <laughs> so please keep your Spine loosely straight. And you know how to practice breathing meditation? 
if you are new new to meditation it's very simple you know your 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 breathing that's all breathing in breathing out you know that you're breathing in you know that you're breathing out that's all so now we close eyes and feel the body relax the muscles in your body and also if you're not if you cannot relax also okay right remember allowed you don't need to control anything you don't have to uh, worry about doing right or wrong awareness is the basis of all this right and wrong feeling yes and no feeling or thinking bala 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 yara 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 all this are in the awareness and awareness is free and bala 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 yara yara all this are like cloud so don't worry just be with awareness be yourself you are free actually you have this wonderful nature which is awareness and this awareness is totally free now please be aware to be aware of your breath knows that you're breathing breathing in breathing out and your breath totally natural normal breath Now please open your eyes and you just be with the awareness itself. So how to be with the awareness itself? Just rest, just let your mind as it is. Okay, how was it? Good? Good, raise your hand. Mm. Not so good, raise your hand. Mm. Do you know not so good? If you feel that you are not so good, that means you are good. Or we feel not so good, maybe you you don't we don't have these flavors peace concentration openness kind of like bliss warm right 
It's okay. As long as if you feel like you are not doing correct, remember that still you remember my breath or not. If you still remember your breath or try to remember your breath, you already connect with awareness. Or even when you are asking, am I doing the right meditation or wrong meditation? You already connect with awareness. Right? So the, when you lost, you're like a zombie, right? Reading book, remember? Oh, the moment of you know you lost, you're back. So it's kind of like very tricky one way because it's so easy. Sometimes, oh, I lost. Then we look for awareness. When you look for awareness, you cannot grab also. <laughs> you cannot really identify the what is awareness. That's also good one way. It's like water. When you try to grab by hand, you cannot grab it, right? Air. When you try to grab the air, can you? Cannot. But still, air is there. So just be with that. As long as if you are not become unconscious, you are not zombie, you're okay. So, or if you feel great, you know, if you feel great, it's great, but watch out, you know. <laughs> if you feel good, and then might have the expectation again, ah, good, now, peace, non-conceptual, non-judgmental. Mm -hmm. So when you feel great, you can appreciate, feel, feel happy about feeling great. But they don't think that it will be last long. It will not last long. Try afternoon, completely different. Disaster. But you have still breath, right? Even you feel disaster. <laughs> so the, try to know that you're breathing. Even you feel disaster, if you know still you're breathing, you're okay. So that is the meaning of uncontrived. Uncontrived meaning you are not controlling anything, blocking anything, making anything. You're just being. And the main thing, what you are being, you're being with awareness. So understand? Three important things. So afternoon, uh, we will. I will do the big examination about this three awareness. I mean, so three, three principle of the meditation, not the three awareness. Sorry, three principle of the meditation. So I will give you homework during lunch time. So try to be with the. You can be with the breath, or be with the food. Be with the taste. Be with the walking. You know that you're walking. Which one easy for you? You can do that, okay? Which one easy for you? You can do that. Try that. If you feel lazy, know that you're lazy. Be aware of that you're feeling lazy. So you can be with the lazy, you know? <laughs> if you can be with the lazy, good. You don't have to fight with the lazy. Uh, I'm lazy. Uh, okay, okay, I'm lazy. Yeah, oh, feel the laziness feeling in your stomach, and there's a, you know, whole kind of like the sensation go through the muscles. You don't want to move your hand. Maybe you, maybe the main problem for you might be the uh, sit straight. If you are lazy and you cannot sit straight, you can lie down. Uh, right side down like sleeping Buddha posture. Do you saw the photo? So left side, left hand around your, your face and the left, left, sorry, right hand around here. <laughs> left hand on your, on your leg and the leg a little bit straight. No need to lock like that. But 
loosely straight, then you can lie down and meditate. Or sky gazing posture, meaning you can face up. You can keep your pillar very low, too high than your neck bent, you know. So keep, still keep your spine loosely straight if you lie down. Um, so face up, the hand and legs are straight. You can still practice meditation. Uh, so three choice, seven posture with the seating, sleeping Buddha posture, or sky gazing posture, or walking meditation. You walk with the, keep your spine loosely straight. Walk, don't walk like that, you know. Oh, don't walk like this. Oh, I have to keep very straight, you know. Just loosely straight. If you naturally you're you're become like this, then it's okay. Sometimes the the bones are crooked. It's okay. And you can do still practice meditation. These are I'm talking about the formal meditation. Formal. Formal, you know. Informal meditation, then you don't have to worry about the posture, you know. You cannot do the all this posture while you're eating food. Seven posture doesn't work, sleeping Buddha posture, eating doesn't work, sky gazing. <laughs> <laughs> so the informal meditation you can apply everywhere anytime during the lunch time you, you have to practice that okay and if you communicate with others discuss about these three principles of the meditation you can discuss what you heard of what you understand not that you're teaching to others you know <laughs> but you reflect on what you understand up through my teaching about these three principles. You can discuss about that. And after you come back, I will have a big uh, examination for you. So we will stop here. <laughs>